Hi friends, so this will be a public service announcement so that you don't get left behind. Today is February 6th, 2018. Hear me now, quote me later. Quote me now, quote me later. I like that much better. Quote me now, quote me later. 2018 and 2019 is going to be just the beginning of an economic retraction that is going to be much greater than the Great Recession of 2008. So if all you have to take care of yourself and your family is a job, then you're in for a world of hurt, even more so than you already are. So get outside of that box of putting your dependency and your family's dependency into an obedient wage slavery and start researching. You can go to Google and YouTube, research passive and residual income and start figuring that out. For those of you that do figure that out, you can hear me now, thank me later. For those of you that don't, you're gonna be in an enormous world of hurt that is gonna be far greater than 2008. And 2018 and 19 is just gonna be the beginning. And as it happens, I'll probably reshare this video in various creative ways to get some of you, the laggards, to start drawing a line in the sand. So kudos to people that draw a line in the sand right off the bat and those that already have. But I guess some people just need to be pushed around by their pains more and just be in more pain until they do something. And some people never do anything with them. They take their pain with them to their grave, which I don't understand that. So if you want a job or you don't want a job, I think you should be treated fairly. Even if I'm personally not for a job, my personal opinion is pretty irrelevant. And regardless, I want you to be treated fairly. But I'm telling you, you're not being treated fairly right now in how you're compensated. No way. And uh, you're certainly not going to be treated fairly as the economy uh, retracts. And it's going to be years until it uh, capitulates and goes back the other direction. So get into passive and residual income. Stop saying no to that stuff and get into it and stop saying it's too hard. I don't know how. I don't have time. I've got kids. I you know, whatever the reason is, just start saying it's just something to figure out, something to learn. Those are the people that are not going to be left behind. Everyone else that fill in the blank as to why you feel you can't, you're going to get left behind. And that's, that's your doing. So you need to start saying yes to learning and yes to opportunity and yes to figuring stuff out. And you can do it. Be around people like me who are cheering you on to do that kind of stuff. And start saying no to putting your reliance and your dependency and your neediness into some company to take care of you. And I'll close on this final thought. I don't want you to be primarily motivated by this fear of what's coming because generally when, when people are motivated by fear, it might be the catalyst to get going and create a vision. But absent of a vision and fear is your primary motivator, you're more likely to just be pushed around like a rag doll by your circumstances and things that go wrong and certainly this retraction that's going to happen right uh, very soon. Um, so instead of that, uh, hold two thoughts in your head at the same time. We're human beings. We can do that. Okay, so one thought and the first thought, the primary thought should be this vision that you have that you're going to design for yourself that is so important and means so much to you. It would literally break your heart not to do it. So you're going to be pulled by your beautiful vision to turn it into a beautiful reality. Be pulled by your vision because if you're not, you're going to be pushed around by your circumstances and your fears. And so you can hold your fear in your head at the same time because this is real. Um, you're going to be profoundly squeezed and affected in terrible ways by what's coming economically. And it's going to last for a very long time. And you're not going to want to be left behind. So get with the program of residual and passive income and owning your own life instead of letting some other company own your life and your income and your time and everything else. And holding everything that you have by a carrot stick that... Who knows what could happen with that? I just know for sure 2018 into 2019 is going to be the beginning of a retraction that was worse than the Great Recession of 2008. And uh, there's just going to be a few people that's going to get into passive and residual income. So be one of the few. You know, get outside of the box. You say you're different and unique and this and that. Well, if you believe actions speak louder than words, then prove it. Get out of the box. Get into passive and residual income and stop dropping an anvil on your head by saying no to learning and opportunity. And you can do it and surround yourself with people like me who are cheering you on and rooting for you. Okay, that's important to be around people who are cheering you on and rooting for you. If you do do this, I hope you do, 
you're going to have your naysayers and your doubters and this and that. Um, that's where your vision has to pull you, because if it doesn't, you're going to be pushed around by that nonsense. Okay? And you can always research my website too. Google, YouTube, TomBirkenmeyer.com. Just like it's spelled here on social media, TomBirkenmeyer.com. Get into something. Start saying yes to something that vibes with you. And give yourself a deadline to get into something because this is rather urgent. You don't want to just sit on this idea. It's a great idea. I just don't know what to do. Maybe I'll wait. No. Uh, procrastination is the cornerstone of all poverty. The greater recession than the last great recession is coming whether you are ready or not, whether you procrastinated or not, whether you made up excuses or not. It's coming, so you need to give yourself a deadline to get started. Make that deadline yesterday or second best option because yesterday is gone. Today. Don't even wait till tomorrow. Uh, and do yourself and your family a huge favor, okay? So I hope you enjoy this message. Please feel free to share this. The fewer wage slaves, the better. And you know what? You can keep your job. The point, if you love your job uh, and all that stuff, the point here is to not rely on them for a paycheck. The point is to be free so your job is optional. And if something were to happen to your job, the economy, whatever, um, you're going to be okay and your family is going to be okay. All right? So the love for your job or hate for your job is really irrelevant to this video. It's about uh, being dependable on yourself instead of some company to take care of you so that you can be a free human being and not vulnerable to entities that you have no control over. So passive and residual money you do have control over. And I really highly doubt you're going to rip yourself off if you do take control. The only way you can really rip yourself off is if you keep doing what you're doing right now, continuing to rip you and your family off and literally stealing your security, your stability, and your wealth from yourself and your, and your family by relying on a job for your livelihood. That is madness. It is completely obedient to people at the top of the pyramid scam that want to rip you off so they can have more while you have less. So stop being obedient to that sick pyramid scam. It's not in your or your family's benefit. Make your job an optional thing. Get involved in passive and residual income. Start saying yes and start learning how to do it and figuring stuff out. Every problem is a challenge and every challenge is just something to figure out, okay? Share this video. Bye for now.